general love reading for the sign of Pisces. Hi, Pisces. Whoa. So you guys definitely are in the top three. <laughs> I think a lot of it has in part to do with uh, Kimberkiss <laughs> mentioning y'all to read or uh, watch the reading. So, yeah. Y'all were in the top three. <laughs> Obviously. You guys just like skyrocketed the views for that one. All right. Oh, this necklace is starting to bother me for some reason. All right. So we're going to start out with tarot. Um, I have my light seers. I have my love oracle. Um, my heal yourself reading cards. My roomy deck. Uh, so I don't know which one of these we're going to use yet. I'm going to let spirit guide me. We're going to start out with four cards from the tarot. So I'm going to lay that out along with the Love Oracle at the same time. Let's see what we pick up reading out for Pisces. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. Let's rock this shit out. Four cards for Pisces, please. After this, I will be recording your sexual energy read on my Patreon, Pisces. So. All right, what do we got for Pisces? My watery Pisces. Four cards, Spirit. Wow. King of Wands. Ooh-wee. He was looking smashing this sexy tool. Ooh. He, he got that fire energy. Ooh. Someone has their eyes on you. Feels very... Oof. Woo. We don't need a sexual energy read. We got that sex right now. Let me tell you. Possible um, Leo. Definite fire sign energy. Wow. Ooh, he's got his shit together, too. Let me tell you, Pisces. He just came out as the emperor. Now, keep in mind, this could also be the divine masculine inside of you, which you are balancing out. But it could also represent your divine masculine. Whoever this is for, this is a very, very strong masculine energy. Sorry for any background noise. My littles are awake. They're going to go to bed soon, though. We got the lovers. Wow. So this is definitely a strong connection. Holy shitty balls. One more card, please, Spirit. I just heard they're working on more stability, which is insane because the Emperor represents stability anyways. They're working on more stability so that they can come correct. We also got Ten of Swords. So your Divine Masculine, for some of you, they had to hit rock bottom. And that is why they are sort of trying to get their shit together. Because they literally felt like they hit rock bottom when they lost you. Okay? And for some of you, you know, you feel like you really lost yourself. And so... You had to find that balance between your divine feminine and your divine masculine. So, <clears throat> why do I feel like I'm losing my voice today? It's so weird. All right. So, I'm going to shuffle. We're at the love oracle. Mm. What you got for a spark? Spirit. What else does Pisces need to know? Let's get two cards from here. I'll show you the cards in a minute. Ooh, that one flew out. Woo, okay, so for those of you who your person, oh my God, your guys' cards are flying out. For those of you, your, I told you, oh my God, okay. I said that your person had to hit rock bottom. They had to feel like they completely lost you in order to freaking get where they are. And look, spiritual awakening, I told you, they're going through another literal spiritual awakening, another dark night of soul because of this. Like they had to literally lose you, it's Ten of Swords. There's also something about crows. There's crows on this card. Crows are often known as messengers. So for some of you, you start seeing crows, then you know that communication is coming quickly from your person. We had the lovers. They came out in this order. Look, king of wands. So with a fire sign energy of someone wanting to come forward quickly. This is, um, it could be a possible Leo. We got the, um, the lion and then we have the emperor the lovers ten of swords that's how they came out and then this card came out single 
So they see you being single and they don't like it. They want to claim you and say you are mine. But at the moment, they know that they can't do that because they sincerely screwed up. That's what it feels like. But they had to go through, again, this Ten of Swords, this Dark Night of the Soul, another spiritual awakening. You know our spiritual awakenings never end. They're constantly going. We're always having more, more spiritual awakenings, you know, more cycles of Dark Nights of the Souls, more spiritual awakenings. And we have to do that in order to completely fully heal. And, and I say completely fully heal because we never completely fully heal. There's always more work to do, okay? All right, I'm going to pull a card from my um, love oracle, my Lemurian love oracle. I feel very guided to do that lately. And we're going to see if your person has a message for you that they want you to know, my beautiful Pisces. I'm going to try to keep these readings really short, under 15 minutes, because they seem to, you guys seem to like the shorter readings. And I know Spirit sometimes has a lot to say, and sometimes it doesn't end up like that, but we're going to definitely try. All right, so we have, I may not be able to see you, but I can smell you. Woo! So they might have the gift of, oh, I don't know which, which cognance, Clear cognance, clean cla I don't know, there's so many different cognances. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's clear audio, there's clear voice, there's clear audience. Whatever. I can't remember what's what sense, um, what it's called, but someone will know, put it in the comment section. The one where like you have that extra sensory um perception of scent. So even though you're away from your person, they could literally be thousands of miles away and yet you will get a whiff of what their their scent the scent of their skin or their perfume or cologne or something like that one more please spirit there's also dolphins on this card that's going to mean something to someone and also more birds we have space seduction Ooh we so you guys have had many lifetimes together many um lives together in which you have had missions in space together you guys might see each other's star seed ships at night um and you have made love many times on many ships and also in space so they're saying it was out of this world <laughs> that's so stupid it's funny though that's what I heard. Take it how it resonates. And there is a moon in the background. Again, we have the dolphins. So um, some of you might have very heavy dolphin connections. You have dolphin spirit animals or you have Lemurian ties. Obviously, I wouldn't have felt guided to pull from the Lemurian deck if you didn't. All right, Pisces, we are going to pull a Heal Yourself card and a um, Rumi card for you the roomy card i'm just going to read the poem on there and like maybe some some of the stuff that stands out and then i'm going to do your special energy read and we don't call it a night all right what does pisces need to know this is already a beautiful reading thank you for allowing me to be the first channel for our beautiful pisces one card please spirit i know it's hard to Pin it down to just one message, but let's keep it short and sweet, please. What is the most important thing you'd like them to know? We have victim consciousness, number 12. So be aware, there's that crow again. Look, keeps coming up for you. Some of you, you're going to have to look up the meaning of what crows mean, but um, crows are often messengers. They're also... Um, guardians um, they literally are in the land of the living but they're also guardians to the gates of um, the afterlife so they kind of have a foot in both doors so some of you might have that gift as well it's coming through very strongly all right so we have let's read this victim consciousness stop blaming others and take responsibility for what you are creating it's easy to think that life is unfair and point a finger at others. If you hear yourself saying life is unfair, bad things always happen to me. I am not good enough. Nobody cares about me. Why me? 
I can't do what I want to do, etc. Then you are losing your power, nourishing your victim aspect, and ascertaining your place in the victim club. Your inner victim can stop you from moving forward by creating dramas, making you judge others, telling you that you don't deserve better, and keeping you stuck in a financial rut. You need to build your internal confidence, self-worth, and courage. <clears throat> Excuse me. Get out of your comfort zone and work on expanding and growing in all areas of your life. The light side of the victim archetype is the victorious part, which can help you to hold your power without getting angry and attacking others. It can also assist you to create healthy boundaries and act from a place of honesty, integrity, compassion, and love. This is number 12, which is a, um, is that a master number? I think it is. All right. The action you can take in order to help with this, it says, visualize your inner victim. This is how to conquer this shadow. Ask to be aware when you are acting like a victim. Then ask your inner victim to show you how you could behave in a more empowered way. How do you need to think, feel, and act to be empowered? On a daily basis, ask yourself, am I acting from an empowered, victorious perspective or a victim perspective? That's beautiful. Okay, we're going to do one last card from the Rumi Oracle, and then we're going to call this reading, Pisces. I really hope that you enjoyed this, and it has shed some light on a little bit of your love situation. I see in June that those of you that are waiting for contact from a divine masculine, that um, they may be coming forward um, once they feel like they have sort of created more stability um, for themselves, in which they can include you as well, if that makes sense. Even though I see that they're already pretty stable. All right, last card for Pisces, please. Last card for Pisces. <clears throat> this throat chakra be acting up all the time. Ooh, ooh, okay. That one literally flipped up. We have one. It's number six. Look at that beautiful card. Oh my God, there's so much good energy coming from it. It feels like um, light from the soul. It is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. All right. One. I'm going to read the little poem and read little snippets that I feel you need to know. I have abolished duality from myself. I have seen the two worlds as one. I told you. Oh my God. I was talking about the crow being in one world and the other. The underworld and also this world. I have seen the two worlds as one, one I seek and one I know, one I see and one I call. Oh my goodness. You look for me and what do you see? You. Am I playing games with you? Holding up a mirror for you to behold God? Yes. These are games of love and truth. Look for me and find yourself for I am you and you are me and together we are one playing hide and seek in love's great playground. Oh my God. It says like molten gold, gold poured from the furnace of divine love into a one of a kind mold. You are created uniquely and of divine essence. You are both the lover and the beloved. There is no aspect of your life separate from your spiritual journey. And there is no aspect of you that is not of divine origin. So then, why the frowning, the fear, or the questioning? Let me share a sublime secret with you. Let me whisper it into your heart. Now, there is nothing to fear. All is unfolding according to the divine genius. And there is a sweet shift in store for you. No matter how dire circumstances may appear to be or despairing you may feel, there is still an avenue through which fulfillment and resolution will be granted. This will happen. That is because the divine seeks wholeness of the one. Oh my God. You guys, that is so powerful. I have chills. 
and I'm seeing a lot of gold and blue aura so if that means something to someone okay I'm gonna wrap this up um, all of my information is down below if you want to book a reading with me for those of you that would like to join my Wix app space I do do free mini reads on there um, I try to do them every day sometimes it's every other day but they're completely free. I will pull two or three cards a day in there. It's completely free and it's a spiritual chat room where you can be yourself and there's no censorship or anything like that. Um, and it's under Chakra Bunny Tarot on Wix Spaces app. So I will try to link that below if I remember. Um, I do have another Third Eye friend in my Etsy shop. Also, my bath salts are in there. And they are bath salts which are activated for tantric sexuality and romance. So they are all organic. My kids are being crazy. So if you would like to purchase some of those, they are in my Etsy shop right now. Um, I think that's all we got. Um, for those of you that have already joined me on Patreon, thank you. I appreciate you. If you'd like to join me, that's also linked in the description box below. Please check out my son's channel. He's uploading a lot more now that it's summer and, you know, his homeschool is sort of dwindling down. Yes, I teach all. Well, I'm getting ready to teach all three of my children, but right now I teach two of them. So, busy mom. Uh, let's see. And if you'd like to tip me, I do have two ways down below that you can tip me. And I appreciate every single penny, especially since I'm getting ready to move out, y'all. I think I found a place, so I'm going to need that extra income. All right, I love you so much. Bye.